What's going on? Jacob here, GHL King. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can edit CSS, whether it's your dashboard, landing pages, website, whatever it is, without knowing any code at all. I've been using this tool for a while, and I think that it can really revolutionize how you're styling things inside of high level. I see a lot of people inside of the group on Facebook and all over the place advertising that they can customize your dashboard for you. And a lot of people buy it because they don't know how to edit CSS. They don't know anything about CSS. And it's one of the biggest complaints I see within the high level group is that people are like, hey, I came to high level to use the tool. I didn't come here to learn how to code. I didn't come here to learn CSS. And unfortunately, the way the high level is set up, if you want to customize pretty much anything uh, beyond the stock abilities that they give you, you got to know CSS. But you had to know CSS until you use this tool. So I'm going to break down. We're going to dive into my computer really quick. And I'm going to show you how I personally edit CSS within seconds. And I don't know how to code, guys. I really don't. I know bare minimum. So let's dive in. The first thing is, is you're going to need to use a Chromium-based browser. So that could be Chrome or Opera, for example. And you're going to need to search for the Chrome extension, which is called Visual. CSS editor. You're going to see this first one pop up right here. It's going to be this blue background with the blue click. I've already installed it, so I'm not going to reinstall it. But once you install it, you're going to want to pin it as one of your uh, browsers. So just as your extension, just make sure you pin it so that way it always shows up. And it's going to be this yellow one that you see in the top right corner here. And I'm going to dive in really quick and, and let's get started. So let's say I want to change my dashboard. I want the background to be black or I want the background to be blue or any cool thing. You want gradients, whatever you want. Well, it's super simple. All you got to do is you open up this program here. It's going to reload the page. You're going to have a pop up here and a pop up over here. Give this a second to load. And now all you have to do is select on the area that you want to edit. So let's say I want the uh, background of this part of the uh, card to be black. I come in here, I select black, or I can make it red, or I can make it any color I want. Let's say I want black, and on the top, I want the background of that to be like, a, I want it to be black too. Now, right, because black doesn't look, you see the dark color uh, one here in, in the text, well, that doesn't look good. So now I can change the text color to be white. Do the same thing here. Text, color, white. Now I want this one to be blue. And I can select one of the blues that are already pre-selected here. Do the same thing with the top. Color, let's go with the blue. And I want the text now to be white. Select this. Boom, now I got white text. White text here. And this, you can't see this now because it's blue on blue. So now I can change this to be white as well. Or I can make it red. I can make it any color I want. It's, it's really up to you. And you're able to style it exactly how you want. Now, I see people all the time charging for this. And, and it's really, really simple with a tool like this. Now, you don't need to pay someone to do this anymore. It's, it's, it's really awesome. So you could change everything, really. I mean, you could change font sizes. You can change, you can add shadows, you can get rid of things. Say I just want something displayed to be none. Boom, I made that whole part disappear. I can make a whole card disappear as well. So I can, let's say I select on the card. Make sure I actually select the card. I go extra, display, none, and now it's gone. It, it doesn't show up. So you can make things hide. You can uh, change the color of things. You can do whatever you want with CSS without knowing anything by using this tool. Now, let's say I'm cool with this design. This is exactly what I want. I've changed everything around. What I'm gonna do is you click the, and you want this to apply to, to your dashboard. You're gonna click the export button. It's gonna give you all your CSS code here. You're gonna copy all of that. You're gonna have to go into a high level and you're gonna to wanna to go to your settings. Once you're there, you're gonna click company and you're just gonna paste the CSS that it gave you in right there, you're going to click on update company and refresh. And as soon as you do that, all of the changes that you made are going to be reloaded here. And 
it's going to apply across all of your pages. It's really, really cool and also really simple. Now, same thing applies for, let's say, landing pages. So if you want to change something on the landing page, you can load that up. It takes a few seconds, and then you could select anything you want here and change it. Let's say high level doesn't let you come up with the font size that you want. You want to change it to 600, or you want it extra bold, or you want um, you want to change, you want to add a shadow behind it. You want to add borders around it. Whatever you want, whatever you can't do inside of high level natively, you can now do just with CSS. And once you have your code, so I changed that a little bit, and let's say I want to change, I don't know, change anything you want. Let's say change this to, change the background of this to just be red for right now, okay? It's red, uh, for example. Now, now that that's done, all you're gonna do is you're gonna export this, you're gonna copy all of it over, you're gonna go into your editor that you are working on, open up settings, go custom CSS, and then you are going to just paste your CSS in there, hit yes, save, exit out, hit save, and that's it. Now it will be applied to your landing page. So. This is a tool that I've been using for a very long time. I am really excited that I've been able to share it with you. And I hope that this brings some value your way. Hopefully you're able to start editing some of the CSS within high level, within your landing pages, within your website. And you're able to get exactly what you want without having to go to the group and being like, hey, I need help with this, or I, I need this. Hopefully this helps you. If it brings some value, I would really appreciate some comments, likes, uh, subscribe if you think that my value, my content is valuable. I appreciate everyone stopping in and watching this video. And if there's anything else I can help you with, thanks so much. GHL King signing off.